pet guinea pig yes sir i want a pet guinea pig oh my god come on look at this thing it's a rhino hunting trophy of stuff to us oh my god hey everyone welcome back to another terraria calamity summoner episode i went and asked before i recorded this episode some tips from you guys and we're gonna use those tips and try and get our hands on some stuff here now people may be asking game readers why do you have cheat sheet isn't it obvious so i can cheat off camera when you guys aren't looking and also that's just a joke by the way that's a meme i'm just a loyal day one to cheat sheet i've had it ever since what 2016 back when i was first doing team mod loader videos back then back when team mod loader first came out because it was the only recipe browser type mod that was out so i'm sorry that i stay loyal but i also do have recipe browser installed because recipe browser has a very very nice thing where they show where you get drops from like what enemies drop the things so let me bind that to like i don't know period and now we could look for a certain item here that we're looking for called a wolfram battery i don't know if it's gonna show up i think we might just have to look at the bestiary straight up but we get the wolfram battery an accessory you guys told me to get my hands on from wolfram jones i don't know if anything else drops it no it's just the drones and it's a pretty low drop rate i think but look what it does seven percent increased summon damage amazing so yeah that's one of the things we have in mind here there's another thing why is his hair green what the hell there's another item that people wanted me to craft i don't remember what it was while i try and figure out what the item name is let's have a word from our sponsor today's sponsor is the ridge wallet this light and sleek wallet easily fits into your front pocket without having a weird bulge like old leather wallets do the ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards in cash there's also a ton of different colors and designs to choose from you can choose designs like carbon fiber and woodland camo the team at ridge is confident you'll love the wallet so they'll let you test drive it for 45 days you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it since the wallet is made from a durable material it comes with a lifetime warranty meaning you could buy this one wallet and carry it for your whole life i've been using the ridge wallet for around a couple of months now and without being overly dramatic it has been pretty life-changing many times i've had my old leather wallet bulge and slip out of my pocket when i sat down either in someone's car or in public but ever since i switched to the ridge wallet i've never had that problem happen to me so what are y'all waiting for get 10 percent off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders link will be in the description and comment section let's hop back into the video all right it's called spirit glyph boom somewhere in here is anything ah there you go five diamonds 15 iron and it's every time a summon hits something you get a random buff which is not bad why is this dude fighting a pig sir are you okay what did that pig ever do to you this thing this pig has 2000 health but yeah those are some things but first i think we should make a trip to uh, the jungle first and then we're gonna go to the underground desert because the underground desert has a certain something we can get our hands on but first let's go to the jungle okay forgot that's an enemy can somebody one of my summons please kill that enemy thank you but yeah we're gonna go to the jungle because i want to make that bella did i just drink a buff i want to make that belladonna staff does five summon damage that, that kind of sucks but maybe it's really good i know there's a couple summons in calamity that uh or only take up half a summon slot which is very nice uh so possibly this might be one of them i don't know if it only does five damage i hope it does decent or i hope you can summon multiple because this kind of takes a little bit to craft so yeah the mod list might be updated i added in like a mod here and there uh to help with some stuff i also have a lot of mods that are like 1.4 related for example i have a mod that auto opens doors which is really nice because that's a feature from 1.4 that like i feel like i can't live without here we are probably wasn't a good time to come to the jungle at night but oh well we're here let's get it done let's get to the jungle if possible i i gotta remember that if i'm not holding my summon weapons i don't hit as hard which is a interesting feature from calamity i guess since there's no like whip type weapons it makes sense that you have to hold your staff to do more damage all right we are entering the underground jungle here i made sure to grab some mahogany because it is in this recipe uh the goal is to fight a boss today but that's after we accomplish our sort of secondary goals here aka getting all these accessories and stuff who's our first boss again king slime and then desert scourge so the thing about the desert scourge he he's our like access to a bunch of stuff i believe it's our next armor set from the desert scourge unless they change it i don't know victide has been changed a lot because i've been playing i've been playing calamity for years at this point uh which is kind of insane to say but that's our next armor set i know also killing the desert scourge opens a another accessory drop from an enemy like the voltaic jelly something like that uh that doesn't drop from the enemy until we kill the boss 
boss. So yeah, killing that boss is gonna open up a lot of stuff to us. Oh my god. I took fall damage right there and I took actual damage. I I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna box up here real quick. Let us go ahead and start killing things here. I'm rocking the double summons over my head, aka the frost blossom and the sun spirit, because I feel like this is a good combo. We tried this at the end of last episode and it, it was a decent combo to use. But we're trying to get vines, we're trying to get stingers, and we're trying to get spores. Pretty much everything. It's like we're trying to make mage armor, okay? This is a little dangerous, a little close quarters. We still gotta remember that I'm a weak puny summoner so we got to be careful not in the last episode i had a lot of people like replying to the title of the video it's just the title you don't need to reply to it a lot of people were like yeah this content creator did it before so it's possible i'm not that content creator but you know to each of their own i guess this is real dangerous being here at this level i feel like i'm saying like there's actually levels in this game but being here with this kind of gear is kind of it's kind of ass i get shot by like one or two stingers and i'm missing half my health uh we pretty much have everything we need i think minus the spores we'll probably get our last two vines right here i think i have enough stingers there's somewhere in my inventory oh there you go eight apparently they're ammo uh so i think we're chilling we don't need to go too deep which is good hopefully i don't die a single time or else i'm gonna be real mad because that means i'd have to make multiple trips back and forth and i would not like that i want to i want to progress it's probably gonna be a lot of uh, cheating <laughs> or off-camera work if you want to call it that but uh you know believe what you want just like i said a second ago to each of their own believe what you want if you want to believe i cheat or not that's up to you cabbage pet guinea pig yes sir i want a pet guinea pig all right we have our supplies here i hope oh shoot the traveling merchants here what's up bro you have nothing this is actually kind of useful if you're lazy but i think we're fine for now uh, i think the feature i'm gonna miss the most actually i should buy that just because i should buy this just because the 1.4 feature where you auto stack to nearby chest doesn't work on gold bro i'm about to just buy it just because of that i forgot that that isn't a feature in earlier versions of terraria who the hell knows why it isn't a feature you can have this uh stat sheet bro i know you want it but seriously here's a boom stick don't need that shoe spikes don't need that i guess we'll keep the flower boots damn that's worth some money though holy but yeah let's go ahead let's craft the belladonna staff see how good it is don't they did me dirty. They really did me dirt. I had a feeling that this was going to happen too, and it happened. See, this is how you can tell I don't cheat. Because if I were to cheat, I would legit cut this clip out, recraft it by spawning everything in. But there you go for all you theory crafters out there. All right, Belladonna Staff. Let me summon in a lot. Okay, I can only summon in one. Does this take up a whole slot? I don't know, honestly. Maybe my summon slots are just broken. No? I'm confused. <laughs> so it's one slot, but I can't summon in multiple. Okay, interesting, I guess. I, like, I don't really care about it anymore since it doesn't do damage. I feel like I wasted my time. We're going to make our trip to the underground desert now because there's something else we can grab there. But let me just uh, organize everything. Now, you may be like, Gamers, what is so important in the underground jungle? Uh-oh. Slime's falling from the sky. I don't know if I want to fight the king of slime yet. But what is so important here? Well, there's this thing that Calamity adds called shrines. And they're pretty much just chess shrines and there's one in the underground desert that can drop a really good accessory slash weapon i don't remember what it is i think it's an accessory that's kind of like a weapon so if we find that then we're chilling some more we're just trying to get as strong as possible as we can early game where is the belladonna spirit i know that i hated you but it doesn't mean that i don't need you because you do decent damage so even even with it giving us a bad reforge look at the damage it's doing to storm line storm lines are strong as hell speak about storm lines they also do drop an accessory too very nice see if we're playing vanilla summoner uh, i guess vanilla 1.4 underground desert is hard as shit uh, compared to pre vanilla hard mode desert for obvious reasons oh is this a shrine this is a shrine but not the one i'm looking for uh let's go ahead and check it out anyways maybe it'll have what we're looking for absolutely not oh my god menacing trinket of chi after two seconds of standing still and not attacking you gain a buff i mean that's not that bad for a summoner i think i should take off the the rover drive just stand still look i get a buff what's the buff your next attack is boosted and you are more resistant oh my bad resilient i hear a mini boss somewhere that's kind of scary okay magic mirror that's very nice but look at this i found a slime statue we might actually be able to get a vanilla summon and look at this there's a button down here hold up we might be able to get a vanilla summon where's this hooked up to oh my god <laughs> just just kill me oh my god we're not getting hit somehow belladonna do work uh squirrel help out okay i take it back i don't think we're living wait go deeper 
Hold up, we got some goodies here. We got some goodies. Mandible claws for my melee playthrough. It's like Stormjaw Summon. Summons a baby storm lion to fight for you. Okay, even though our Belladonna is annoying, I hear nothing but damage all the time when the Belladonna is out. So it has to be pretty damn good. Like, we've seen how good it is. Oh my god, so many storm lines. Let's see the Stormjaw. Yes, sir. Handle this. We got two of them. Holy hell. They do a lot of AoE, but uh, actual damage seems a little bit non-apparent. Every time I right click, it makes that noise. Very nice, I guess. But we have a ground unit that is an actual ground unit. Here, let's see them fight their papa. Fight your papa. Show me that you can handle your papa. Look at that. These guys aren't too bad then. We are at the sunken sea. Is that the name of this biome? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure this is where the clam spawns. Uh, oh, look. Ghost bell. Those are the things that drop the voltaic jelly accessory once we kill the desert scourge. So that's nice to know they spawn here. I thought they spawned in the abyss. Uh, maybe this is called the abyss and the abyss got renamed to the sunken sea. I don't know. Maybe they could have flipped all the names around since the last time I played. But yeah, this is not the reason we're here. But it's nice to know that it's here. Because I actually like this biome. It's a cool biome. The music is bumping. I don't want to stay here long enough to where a uh, clam will spawn in though. So let's get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. I think I may have found the shrine. There is no way that this isn't the desert shrine. Wow, we can actually mine desert fossil. Didn't know that this pickaxe did that. I kind of just found this pickaxe in the middle of somewhere. But look at this. Boom, bada, bing. Menacing Luxor's gift. Ooh, it's a menacing. Perfect. Actually, I kind of prefer warding, but still it's fine. Steampunk chest. People are going to think I cheated that in this whole time and Unless they watch this episode. But boom. Weapons fire unique projectiles based on the damage type they have. Some weapons are unable to receive this bonus. Summoner is not one of them. Summoner actually does receive the bonus. I don't know how it works specifically. But I remember reading something about Summoner for this weapon. So hopefully it does some damage. Let's see. I want to put it to the test. But this Belladonna thing keeps killing everything. Uh, as much as I enjoy you. Sorry if the volume is low. It's the Belladonna bro. It's been driving me crazy. But let me double summon here. Okay. Oh look. There you go. You saw that? That right there. That's the summon. That's what comes from Luxor's gift. Very nice. Uh-oh. I'm about to get assaulted right here. Please stop it. Stop it from touching me. Yes, sir. We got a little army building up. This is what we like to see. So after this, now we need to get our hands on the Wolfram battery. That one might actually take me a little bit of off-camera work. But you know what I found? Two slime statues. Two of them. That's right. So maybe I might get the slime stuff. Like, might as well, right? Doesn't seem like it would be a hard task to do with two slime statues. All right. Our slime farm has been set up here. As you can see, very simple. I wish I had double statues back when I did this in the vanilla playthrough. Probably would have helped a lot probably would have saved a, a lot of time and that time saved could have been used for my enjoyment of less farming and more actually playing through that playthrough but uh let's just get a let's get this slime staff anyways i'm gonna set a macro to my jump uh something like that i'll probably just play something heavy on jump and we'll see what happens from there <laughs> Okay, at some point in time, we already got the slime staff. I was laying down. It's sluggish, bro. Are you kidding me? I should just get a second one at this point. <laughs> but I had to switch my keyboard out to my Razer keyboard because uh, I use a Varmillo customized keyboard now. Maybe I'll leave a link sim somewhere. It's a really cool looking keyboard. And I had something on my space bar set to a macro doing this. And I was waiting for a slime staff. And it really was short, but it gave me a sluggish one. So I might wait even longer now. But the point is, we got one. That's all that matters. All right, I tried to farm another one, a worm spawn, and then the mini boss spawn, and then I died. So I guess we're sticking with sluggish. Too much effort to get it. The whole game didn't want me to get it, so I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't know if I should buy this. I probably should. Okay, I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna buy this rhino hunting tro trophy because it looks cool. Come on, look at this thing. It's a rhino hunting trophy. But yeah, we, we got our slime staff. There you go. <laughs> 
we did it in this playthrough we didn't have to i did it anyways all right really quick before i go and farm the wolf from drone maybe i'll fight the king son before i do it i don't know we'll see but before i farm the wolf from drone let's make this item i think it's 15 iron bars five diamonds and it is the glyph there it is spirit glyph wild spirit glyph whenever you're an enemy you'll gain a random buff these buffs will either boost your defense summon damage or life regen for a while not bad i'm gonna organize everything and hopefully it doesn't take too long to farm the wolf from drone i don't know all right i'm slowly preparing for the wall of flesh and i'm fucking drowning right now uh i found this though corruption effigy can be placed one place down nearby players have their movement speed increased by 15 percent and crit chance by 10 percent nearby players also suffer a 20 percent decrease to their damage reduction if it does bad things why would i want to use it i don't think i don't think the positives are outweighing the negatives there uh we move faster but we take more damage it's like bruh what the fuck yeah i'm down here i'm trying to craft a uh slime king slime crown whatever and then i think we should be good to fight king slime i got potions i got an arena set up i got a grappling hook it would be nice if i can get a little bit more health or even a double jump but uh you know we gotta work with what we have and honestly i fought king slime with a lot less so let's do it anyways speak of the double jump being needed and a ice mirror wow this is a really good chest we got a blizzard in a bottle i also picked up two more life crystals on the way down here very nice you know i might finish off this little ice cave adventure before we go and fight the uh, king slime because i'm only a couple of heart crystals away from max health and uh, i can see no harm from going further all right let us fight the king slime i should have a uh, good enough stuff here hopefully i'm gonna go ahead and drop this off i don't need this drop that in there and do you have anything that will help me out here last second doesn't look like it crimson rod if that did summon damage i would use it uh there's some stuff to increase life regen for a minute sure i'll take some and i think we're ready to go we honestly might be a little overkill for uh king slime but let's see let's see now you may be wondering where the hell the wolf battery is i tried my best to get it i just straight up couldn't get it uh, i've killed i killed like two two of the drones that could drop it i've killed but obviously uh it's a slim drop and it's only found on one of them or one one of those type of enemies so it's a little hard to get your hands on yeah we're running the uh, belladonna spirit and the baby storm lion combo let's see if, if that is the game winning combo here okay king slime he kind of just jumped over me after i missed both of those grapples oh shit wasn't paying attention for the teleport hey we're playing pre 1.4 i could have did the rope strategy if i wanted to i could have cheesed them if i wanted to but i, I went with the just simple fighting the king slime because it's the king slime you know what let's place this corruption effigy okay let's place it because it gives us movement speed we take more damage but like the amount of potions we have the amount of movement speed we have it's like bro we don't even have to worry honestly you don't even need to build an arena most of the time for king slime we could just like build a straight line of platforms for like 500 blocks and then if you get to the end of it just like go underneath grapple past them and then run back to the other side so king slime one of the bosses where you could just run left and right for a long time and he'll die slowly really depends what weapons you have i guess but there you go the summons made it easy of course made it so all i had to do was dodge my favorite thing about playing as summoner but uh king slime is dead we got our we got our action done for this episode that's all i wanted really let's go ahead let's pop over treasure bag here don't expect to get anything crazy uh you may be wondering where did the slime staff go i accidentally sold it i swear i had a mod in here that allowed me to buy things back uh but apparently not that thing is gone and i'm not gonna try and get it again but yeah there you go king slime dead i think we should end this episode off here and maybe feeling like the episodes are moving slow but like if we're thinking up think about it through the eyes of a summoner we got a lot done we got what two accessories and i'm on the hunt for the third one which i'll probably end up getting off camera and then we got two weapons there might have been a third one the slime staff is a third one i guess like we made some progress next episode we are gonna pick up the progress a bit maybe fight like two to three bosses the clam and desert scourge are definitely on the next are definitely next up and we also do have an eye cthulhu thing a lepus we might have trouble running into because lepus the enemy that drops the spawners for lepus is really rare but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed keep on leaving tips and everything i'll see you next time follow my twitch